The uh, session on e-culture struck me as particularly interesting because it, um, it exhibited some of the aspects of the WSA that really separate WSA from other kinds of awards that are given throughout the world, such as the Webby Awards for um, Best of, um, of Breed in Internet uh, websites. And that is that the e-contents uh, we define at WSA as uh, interactive digital content that helps to bridge the digital divide, but not restricted to websites. And this year, in the category of e-culture, out of the six winners, three of the projects represented uh, interactive uh, digital projects that were um, not websites. And uh, yesterday at the session, uh, those three, along with another uh, that is a website, were represented. And briefly, um, uh, one of them was an interactive site in Guatemala, uh, representing 3,000 years. Now, when I say a site, it's an actual place where people go um, and uh, get to interact with their history, with 3,000 years of Guatemalan history including the Mayan civilization, and most important, dealing with 23 different language groups that are active currently today in Guatemala. These different cultures um, uh, are represented in their own languages as well as in English, and they get a chance to interact with their own history, to uh, uh, interact with the youth, and, um, and to, uh, and to uh, bridge uh, the digital divide in a way that is uh, very personal. Then the next uh, winner was um, even uh, more removed, perhaps, from the internet. It was from uh, took place in one of the islands of Fiji, where, as far as I know, there may be no interact, uh, no internet available, or if there's any internet, it's, it's very uh, minimal. And this was participatory 3D GIS. Um, uh, transfer of intangible knowledge from the local peoples in that island into a tangible digital database in the form of a community project that took a physical map based on satellite GIS mappings and had the local peoples uh, produce an actual map, I think it's one to 10,000 scale, of their island and fishing uh, grounds off the coast of the island. And after that was created, it took six months to just plan it, and then it took about a month or so to create this actual physical map. And uh, then the elders of all of the villages came and transferred their intangible, that is to say, previously just passed verbally from generation to generation, knowledge about the names of the places, the rivers, the rocks, the, uh, where their ancestral grounds were, where the taboos were, uh, where they didn't, uh, uh, where you weren't supposed to fish or hunt. And each of the tribes would uh, participate and map these by putting little pins in this physical map and attaching text to them, which were then transferred into this database. So we have this living model that has just really been the beginning, and I won't go into too much detail. Very, very exciting, not internet, but certainly bridging the digital divide and bringing these people, empowering these people um, in many ways, but one of the ways is by bringing to the foreground of their own realization that much of the knowledge that they have is important and valuable valuable for settling land claims, valuable for protecting the environment in the future, valuable for interacting with the global community in the way that it needs to deal with text and digital data. The third project is the uh, uh, Te Pui uh, Rotana uh, uh, project in New Zealand, which takes the uh, Maori legends and brings them to life also in a physical environment by mapping and using 3D gaming technologies 
onto different uh, exhibits that people can go to and see, for example, instead of just seeing uh, some perhaps ancient swords that the Maori used in fighting, uh, they can fight with them virtually using a computer game technology and things of that sort. And then lastly, um, the capacitor uh, project, which is uh, enabling poets and writers in Malaysia, both in the Malay language and the English language, to build communities online for their writing, to interact and uh, create magazines that are online magazines that can be downloaded and printed, and also to map the real community that exists or that is being facilitated by this site in terms of having meetings of these creators onto the interactive community that we're more familiar with of the internet, but in this case with real faces and real names and real people. And um, I thought that these four projects were extremely exciting uh, and indicative of how WSA is really able to mobilize uh, a different kind of recognition using different kind of criteria of excellence throughout the world's version of digital divide.